more pop-up showers and thunderstorms across central North Carolina, but we're already seeing those fall apart. The biggest cluster sat right over Raleigh for about 45 minutes. Now just a couple of light showers left. There are, though, still rumble thunder or two in the portions of Cumberland County near Fayetteville, stretching south of Fort Bragg, right along the All-American Freeway and south of I-295. These showers will taper off over the next about hour or so. Temperatures will hold steady in the 70s through the evening. We're staying in the 70s for your Memorial Day as well. Uh, that the exclusive 10 day in just a few minutes. And those sudden storms Brian is talking about led to a washout for Memorial Day activities all across central North Carolina, especially late this afternoon. Good evening, everybody. I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Maggie Newland. We had some heavy rain, some yeah. lightning out there. It changed up plans for a lot of people. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is live in the Chevy Weather Beast. And Bridget, it looks like it's cleared up out there now. Maggie Russ, it, it is. I mean, we felt that rain, we heard that rain, saw that rain, came out here, and it is now a little bit more of a sprinkle. I'll give you a look at what we're seeing out here on the roads. The roads are still a little wet. We just are, we were in the Nightdale area and are now headed south. Um, I will say that police have reported a wreck in this area. There was also heavy flooding in the Twin Lakes subdivision in Cary with at least one road flooded. Uh, in Raleigh, there was some flooding on Atlantic Avenue at Hodges Street. So even though it did kind of come and go quickly, we did hear of some damage. We're going to keep checking in with local police departments to see what else they are hearing about. But right now, it's just kind of sprinkling. Uh, cars right now are taking it nice and slow and steady as they should. And we will keep you updated. For now, live in the Weather Beast, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.